warning, this video contains footage of live goat births. There are bodily fluids and some of that red stuff. Skip if you can't handle it and we'll see you guys in the next one. So I just came up to the pasture because I was going to go check on Sunny and her kid. All the girls came running up to the fence like they normally do, except Cleo. So Cleo is very moody. She's laying there and biting anybody that comes near her. So I'm pretty sure she is in the beginning stages of labor. And her being a first freshener, we're going to keep a very close eye on her. So we're going to hang out with her for a few hours and see how this progresses because Hopefully she gives us lots of babies. Hopefully they're girls. So far we've gotten one buck. So not off to a great start, but we're gonna we're gonna push through that and hopefully get some really good, beautiful girls. Like Reese back here. What are you doing? Hey, are you having a baby? Hi Cleo. You having babies? See if I can sneak over here. Are you ready to have some babies? Yeah. I think we are there. So I'm gonna let her just kind of do her thing. She's not in any distress. And we're gonna go and check on Cleo and I'll probably let Cleo out into this kid pasture so she can just get out and stretch her legs and eat some grass. There's a mosquito that keeps flying at my head. She, oh, poor Cleo. I think she, Cleo wants me there apparently because she started screaming when I left. So let's take care of Sunny real quick and then we'll go back over to Cleo. Hi, Sunny. Hi. You want to come out and enjoy some grass with your little nugget for a little while? Oh my goodness, he's so stinking cute. Okay, I'll get out of your way. I know. I'm not going to bug you. Right, you can come out of the stall. Come here, little nuggie. Come here, little dude. Goodness. Look at you! I'm, I'm just, I'm just taking him over here. Come on. One thing I can say about Sunny, she is an excellent mom. Okay, okay. There you go. There you go. She, she, she is right here. She is right there. It's okay. There you go. Outside barn time, okay. So I just checked out Sunny. Oh, look who I found over here. Are you getting ready to have your baby too, Rogue? You're starting to push. So yeah, we are definitely getting close, huh? Okay. I guess I'll need to go and get some gloves and stuff, huh? Yeah, looks like it. So I think Biscuits is the midwife for today. Are you being the midwife today? <laughs> you hanging out with Cleo? You on baby watch? I don't want to put Cleo in a kidding stall because she doesn't like it in there and it stresses her out. But the problem is she wants to be alone, but she wants, she, she yells when I leave, but when I come around, my entourage comes with me, so that stresses her out. Am I going to have to put you guys all in the barn today? Especially if you can't, oh, if you can't behave. Sheesh. Reese, I feed you. I feed you well. Stop trying to eat me. Well, that was graceful, Pippi. So graceful. I got. I have to keep an eye on Cleo over here, Rogue over there, Sadie. Sadie seems pretty content, but these guys are definitely getting close. 
Hi. She's really start pushing. Not you two. You know you're close to labor. Would you rather stay over there by yourself than come over here and have a feeding frenzy with the rest of the goats? I mean, even Sadie's over here. Well, Sadie's no friend. Oh, yeah. Well, so is Rogue. You guys stripped that down and, like, 2.5 seconds. <laughs> Alright, so I just went in to do some work. I hear a goat yelling. Cleo's still over there. Rogue is over there. Sadie is waddling her way over here. So that only means one thing. Sunny has got herself into some trouble. What are you doing over there, Sonny? Where's your baby? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's go find Sonny's baby. So I found him. I searched for a few minutes and he scared the crap out of me. Cause he's hiding in his little bucket. What are you doing in here, dude? Your mom's yelling for you. Oh my goodness, it's okay, he's okay. He just was playing hide and seek, huh? He's right here, I'm gonna bring him over here. There you go, there you go, there you go, it's okay. Listen, this is the first day, let's not give me heart attacks this early in the kidding season, okay? Sheesh. All right, with all that commotion, might as well come over here and check on Rogue. She's moved over to a new area. Hi. Oh, but Cleo is over here pushing, so let's go over this way. Either that or she just like zonked out. Oh my goodness, you both have to do this at the same time. All right, are you pushing? You have to do this across the yard from each other at the same time. You guys didn't plan this very well, did ya? At least you guys are in the shade, I appreciate that. Go check back on. Are you pushing over here, Rogue? Huh, sweetie? I wish you guys would just go ahead and push these babies out, please. Oh, yeah. You're pushing.
All right, so we got Rogue moved to the birthing stalls. We let her birth out there just to keep it as calm and less stressful as possible. Plus it helps keep our stalls cleaner. <laughs> we don't have to clean up all the afterbirth. But Rogue gave us two very large, beautiful baby boys. And I believe they both have blue eyes. I know, it was hard work. We'll go and get you some snackies, okay? All right, I went inside to wash up and clean off my hands and my arms. Came back outside. And it looks like we might be getting ready for round two. Yeah? You push in? You don't even want that little bug around you. No sack yet. Do it. This and make the most uncomfortable places. They look like comfortable rocks. Who doesn't love a good better rock? She had a little bit of a rough start at it, but she ended up with a beautiful little buckling and we got our first doling. Yep. And they're starting to try to nurse and they're getting up and moving. And so far she's doing a really good job at raising them. We're going to get them moved to the barn though, so we can get them all cleaned up and get their umbilicals snipped and dipped. Snip them and dip them. Short. 
big and cute. <laughs> oh, you're a chonky little guy. Yeah, that was the first one. He was very chonk. Hey, hey, sit. Your pretty blue eyes. <laughs> All right, so two more down. The only goat we have left to kid is Sadie, but this is probably gonna be a pretty long video because it was a very exciting and dramatic video. So, all right, so my battery is dying and it is very hot today. So we're going to end this with this. So we still have Sadie to kids. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for at least one more goat birth. And we'll see you guys in the next one. I wonder why any of our footage is shaky during this video. It is because these jerks right here that can't leave my camera alone. Now can you? Oh.